Hey, what's up guys? So a few months ago, I think two months ago, I made a video about telescope.live, which uh, allows you to control telescopes in different parts of the world, uh, for example, Spain or Chile and Australia. Um, and you can, you know, remote control the telescopes and image uh, whatever you want, pretty much, uh, very easily. So um, I think this week they released their new update, so Telescope Live 2. So if you're interested, uh, I'm going to show you what is new. Uh, the dashboard uh, stayed pretty much the same. And I'm not going to bore you too much with all the menus. Uh, you can go on the first video if you want. But um, the, the first uh, thing that I notice here is the, the new one-click observation. So I'm going to go and try this today. So I'm going to do a new observation. And let's see, so... NGC 300. So we have a bunch of targets here. Those are all like uh, famous, you know, popular targets up in the sky right now. So they're all available right now. And you can pretty much pick any of these that you want and you can uh, get images. So the good thing is, I believe you don't have to sign up. I mean, you don't have to pay uh, to try it out. So it's free to try. But um, I'm going to try today to get a, let's see, it has to be a southern target. I don't want M42, I don't want the crab, I don't want the rosette. I want something that I cannot get myself from Vegas. Eta Carina is very tempting, but I feel like it's overdone. Tarantula, I think I'm going to go with the Tarantula Nebula. Uh, my only concern is that it's already in progress. So, for each target it tells you uh, what type it is, the telescope used. So if I want to, to image M42 right now, I would use the Spanish uh, telescope and then observed in one hour. So I'm guessing if I click on observe now, I could get this data in one hour. Pretty crazy. And then status, uh, this one is already in progress because right now in Spain is it's nighttime. So it makes sense. And you can click on more info if you want, I'm guessing, and then tells you on target and coordinates and stuff. So let's do observe now. That's one click. Are you ready to observe? Target name, target name. Expected completion time, 20 November. Today is 19. Confirm. That's it. That's pretty much it, guys. I mean, if I go to, oh, I got an email. I'm guessing it's the email from, uh, from this website. If I go to my observations, I have three slots here. And you can see that the Tarantula Nebula is already in there. Okay, and now, uh, really quick, since we have to wait seven hours, uh, what do we have here? We, have, we still have the advanced requests. Um, those ones are the ones I showed you last time, so you can just go through uh, the last video if you want to. My data archive. I'm guessing this is my, my past, uh, my past uh, observations. And then pro data sets. I heard about this. So this, if you're an avid, um, processing guy, if you, if you love processing, you can actually download some great data here. So uh, it shows you a really quick and dirty preview right now, but you can download um, some really great data just to have fun processing it. And I think this is great. I know many of you guys, especially on Instagram, uh, I know many, a few guys that really love processing data, and this is perfect. You don't have to worry about um, imaging, you can just process. That's really great. Tutorials, I think they're they're working on this a lot more now. Let's have a bunch of video tutorials. Images, so this is a new gallery. My profile, so you have your own profile and you can post to your images and you can like and comment uh, people's images, that's really nice. I can post my own pictures, my profile, okay. And lastly, what do we have? Uh, blog and Academy. What is blog? A blog I'm guessing is all the news. Okay, oh, okay. So they make like uh, news about space. Really cool. And then they have Academy, which is, uh, I'm guessing it's to learn as well. Yeah, it's pretty much to learn about astronomy in general. Really cool. All right, guys, so I'll see you in seven hours uh, to download our data of the Tarantula Nebula. And we'll see if it's actually good. I mean, it was like literally two clicks. So we'll see if it's good. And uh, yeah, hang on. See you in seven hours. And so the next day I got the email telling me that uh, the one-click observation was finished. Let's check it out. So we have the uh, the image here, 
which has already been combined and as you can see it's magnificent so this is the tarantula nebula uh, from the one click observation so uh, what you can also do is download the raw files so if you go to the data archive you can actually download all the raw files that you got so we have i think three ha uh, two s2s and uh, four or three so i wish there was one more s2 i think i'm missing an s2 because i uh, i clicked when it was already in progress i'm not sure so here is the um, automatically combined data and if we zoom in you can see it's really pretty so that's uh, kind of impressive actually i think it just uh, I mean, this was just done by a software, so automatically, it's pretty crazy. So now in Pixie Insight, I'm just going to combine everything. I'm going to star align all the raw files, which are already calibrated with flats and darks. So here are the three uh, data files stacked. So we can stretch those, and now I'm going to combine them and uh, fast forward the results. So I wanted to do a different version than the automatically uh, combined file. So I did the starless version which was a bit of a, of a pain because there is so many uh, small stars and especially for some reason in the S2 channel, like those stars were everywhere. So here is the final result. I think I went a bit too crazy on the saturation here. I think I blew out the color a little bit, but I, I was able to bring out more of the orange, uh, orange colors all around. Alright guys, so I really hope you liked this uh, short walkthrough. If you want to do it yourself, you can go on telescope.live and you will be able to uh, control any telescope in the world pretty much um, on your favorite targets. So uh, for me, I'm going to be honest here, I prefer using it like the regular way than using the one-click observation. I think this, uh, this new one-click observation is perfect for like complete beginners. If you have no idea what you're doing, it's perfect. You just click once and confirm, and you have an image in like a few hours. Um, that's great. But for me, if if you're like me, like if you're used to uh, to this hobby, I would say you might probably want to go towards the uh, regular way of doing this. So um, you know, it's, it's too easy with just one click. It's too easy. So so I want at least a bit of a challenge to at least choosing my uh, my filters and all that. Uh, but yeah, so. I'll see you guys next time, and uh, I don't have a coupon this time, sorry, I know you guys used the coupon like crazy last time, um, but not this time, but go check it out, it's free anyway. I think it's free to try the one-click observation, so, so go ahead and have fun, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, and cheers guys. Mm -hmm.